Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here along with the crafty sidekick shenanigans. We're here on Tuesday afternoon. Welcome in, everybody. May May, what you got today? We're going to do a craft room tour. We've been promising you, we call it the studio, the craft room, whatever. It has a lot of different names, but we've been promising you that we would bring you along and show you where we're at. Is it finished? No, but we've decided it's never finished. But there's been a lot of work done. We've got a lot of things done. I'm going to bring you guys in and let you see. So you can see in the big screen, I have the camera set up. I'm going to head over there in a minute and we'll look at it. A couple of disclaimers. The biggest one is this. Do not judge your craft supplies and your craft room by mine. It's very important that you don't. I do this for a living. So I have one of everything or blah, blah, blah. But that's what we do for a living. So you don't really have one of everything. You just no. have one of everything you like. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I have a lot of things, and you're going to see that in here. But I've, I've watched um, when I didn't have and I couldn't afford things, and it would kind of make me sad about what I have. But that's not what today is about. Today, you just want to see the new setup. I like to kind of show you how things work in here. But the big thing is I want you to remember you only need what you need to craft with. You don't need every single thing out there. And some of you might be surprised how little I craft with. Now, it just depends on which which way you come from or how, how many craft room tours you've seen in your life. You just might be surprised. So please don't judge what we have. Are you on? I think so. You may not be. Can't believe you were late. I was setting up the uh, I was setting up the camera, so I might have forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Um <laughs> oops. So anyway, I don't want y'all to judge that. The other disclaimer is some things I have might be old. Some things I have might be things that were gifted to me. So, so you might ask where some things come from. And if we don't know, we just don't know. But we will try to tell you But some of the stuff in here I've had since my very first craft room. And I thought this would be interesting to tell you. So if you've never watched this before, I think this is neat before we do this. This is how um, the blessing of God is. OK, we started this whole organization in a four by six closet. And I literally had nothing. Like I literally had nothing because we had just had a house fire and Vinny agreed after the house fire that the first tool I could buy back was my Cricut. So I bought a Cricut and then I started buying supplies a little by little. And uh, that's how we got started. So it's a blessing to me to be able to share this with you. And it is also, I want to acknowledge the fact that without God, none of this is possible. This is not something that I did on my own. This is simply the blessing of God. So um, take that how you like it. But I say, give him the glory. Um, and what do you see? I don't know the size of this room now. We should have done that math. I have it in my phone, but my phone is set up to record over there. So you can see too, I'm back here. This is cool for you to see. My can you see me over here? This is where I do. You can see my hand. Well, I don't have my hand camera up, but this is me. Can y'all see me? Yes. <laughs> and this is our setup. So I'll walk around and show you. All right. But here's what I need you to do. Vinny and Shannon are going to stay in their spaces and I'm going to move around. So if you have questions, please be patient with us. There may be a lot of questions, but these guys are going to do their best to get them to me. Right. Mm -hmm. And the plan is about 30 minutes today. That's about what we've got to hang out. OK, so I'm going to head to the other camera and I'm still on camera because. But let's just go and let's see what happens. <laughs> I can't see chat anymore. It's all up to you guys at this point. Everybody's saying God's good. God is good all the time. All right. I am going to have to wiggle the camera for a second because I'm going to take it off the tripod so I can see what we're doing. So I apologize. Okay. Let's see if I can turn that down anymore. Cannot. All right. So this is when you, is there going to be, do y'all hear an echo by chance while I'm doing this? Because there might be a chance of that. I can't mute my phone completely, but I'm trying to keep it away from my mic. So this is when you walk in the door. This is what you see. I'm just doing a pan around the room and I'll just give you a brief overview. So that section there, mine and Shannon's desk behind this wall, which I'll take you behind in a minute, is our little conference area. Vinny sits right there. You know, wave. And then this is a filming space. I'll explain that in a minute. Shannon sits right here and this is paper. So let's start on this end. All right. Any questions before I get started pointing things out? Nope. Okay. This shelf holds a lot of upcoming projects, some completed projects. It also has six by six and um, 
nope, just six by six right there. I was going to say my mente, oh, mente is right here. My six by eight books are here. These are our, these are mine and Shannon's folios that we do for the year. And down here temporarily is where we're putting our um, Crafters Companion Sizzix. Well, the Gemini too, I should say. That's what's living down there temporarily. This is the upcoming folio. This is waiting for us to do Thursday. Yep. So kind of some projects to come. We've got some things in mind for these guys. We have those there. This is our paper. Now, except for Ben, this is it. This is what we have, and this is what we use. Is that correct? It is, Shannon. Um, right? Well, we have. Um, oh, that the American uh, AC card stock that sits in their little spot behind you. That is true. And then I'll bins. show you that too. But yeah. But this is our paper. So we have our solid. Like some of this is our twelve by twelve. Some is eight and a half by eleven. Some is chipboard. Some is glitter. These are pretty much packs. These three on the end are pretty much packs. And what we try to do is we try to keep our packs and our ephemera and our six by six books together when we get newer collections. So this is all our Christmas, especially here. We know we and can grab here. I overflowed into this one. And then Shannon has also gathered over here some. So there's that. Now I want to show you what you couldn't see when we came in the door. This is our other filming spot. So I'm trying not to make y'all dizzy, but I probably will. But this is where we work from the big table. So when you see us on like the lives we're doing folios, this is where we're working. Um, sometimes we do, well, we did our um, tutorial for the Gemini 2 here, for our demo. But this is a filming, this is a set. I'll show you what I mean. If I'm going to film here, <laughs> I can come like this without the tripod in and um, see how we can work. We are trying to get organized, move into the bigger space. That's one reason we moved to the bigger space because we were... I mean, literally had a lot of this stuff all crammed into the little room. Oh, this was all. Well, not I all mean, the furniture. Not all the furniture. We didn't have all the bookshelves in the middle, but product wise. So, yeah, we were tight in there. This section here is to give us an extra filming space. If we ever need to film a cricket or a scan and cut or something like that, we have them close and we can use this table for that. So far, we've not needed it. But in the past, I have needed that space. So we went ahead and set up for it. We also use it to hide the working area. I'll show you that in a minute. Now, we do have to have lights and things like that because, you know, it's dark in here. Somebody asked what types of lights they were. I don't know what those are. My, um, They're bright. Our it's light guy got those. Can you see a name on them? Do not look into the light. Don't look into them. Let me look back here. It's bright. They're bright. I don't know. I don't see a name on them. I can find out though. This is where we keep our Cog Hill coffee. That's funny. It's just sitting That's there just because I smell it. It's waiting to go in well, the Well, it's the regular, Lisa, not decaf. Lisa asked, where did you get your racks for your paper from? My paper racks came from, we bought out a crafting store eight years ago. Yeah, about that. Seven years ago, we bought out a crafting store and I got those from that. Then we bought some more from another craft store mm -hmm. that went out of business not too long ago but i think you can get some on amazon too you can get them on amazon there's also a site you can google them um they're a, they used to run about a hundred dollars but i bet with inflation they're up from there now but um some of these are two-piece racks well let me show you they're stacked. on the end where Vinny is that's a two-piece rack and that's glitter cardstock there too by the way i forgot we put that over there yes yes we, we put our scissors glitter there there's a lot i have forgotten because i'm not used to this room yet <laughs> we're still trying we do not have a laser cutter for wood products, and we probably won't. I'm gonna stay in my lane. That's my buddy Clax thing. And so, yeah. if I need wood cut, we get like we get Clack to do it. Um, we just I've don't have time to do everything. Them. We get offered those machines and stuff, but it's not it's not in my wheelhouse. It's not a thing for me. So, but it is for Clax. So, anytime we need wood cut, and we do get stuff done. Matter of fact, um, and I hope to be bringing these to you guys pretty quickly. He made numbers for these advents for Brenda's class. So like in Brenda's class, you'll, if you're coming to our October event, Craft Acropolis, you'll be doing that advent and you made numbers for them. And I'm hoping to do that for you guys too. So our TV was there when this was a classroom, but we've left it because we feel like we can use it another time. And we sometimes watch Netflix in here. I'm just going to say. We do. <laughs> sometimes you have to eat here. And we do product search on that TV too. Yeah, yes. that's true. Let me tell you about this, which is really cool. So when we're buying new product and we're looking at all the new stuff that's being released, like a lot of companies will send us videos of new releases or our distributor will have a site where we can go look at new releases and we see what's coming. We'll turn the TV on and put a computer screen up there and then we all sit in here and we don't have to. That way we can kind of reference it back and forth. So we do use it for that, too. 
this section is where I'm keeping stamps now. Our stamps have grown so much, <laughs> like so much that what we did was I went on walmart.com. Y'all know I get these from Walmart. They've gone up. They used to be less than a dollar. Now they're a little more than a dollar, but I love them. And we went on walmart.com and we ordered two cases of those. So we'd have enough to do what we wanted to do. And that was to make sure every category we wanted had a space. And so you can see how we've got them like this is all stamps down here. And this, except for this, is all empty waiting. So we can grow in that top section. This is Christmas. We try to keep Christmas where we can grab it right now. Then up here is just samples. Well, not just. Look at this. This is something that Ford and Lydia made when they were visiting. They're so funny. And yeah. I just realized the other day we were putting this up and it says Evil Chicken May May, May, May Made It Edition. <laughs> that was so funny. So we don't have the story yet, but we've got the cover. Um, we are still in the same location. Um, we just moved our studio from a smaller room to the bigger room. So we could have more room. These shells are really for us to grow into. To be honest, they weren't. They weren't exactly, what's the word? We didn't buy them for their utilitarian use. We bought them to be a wall. Yes, to separate our space. Which is kind of funny because this room used to have a wall, and when we moved in, we had them remove it. <laughs> About where the show. You can are. see on the carpet where, well, look at this carpet. It's so bad. This carpet is so bad. Um, well, you can see it here. Look on the wall. Do you see that? Um, when I put my hand there, it changes the focus, but there's a line on the wall, and that's where the wall used to be that we had removed right here yeah right there you'll notice that shelf is empty where shannon is that's because it's going away it was there holding our stamps until we got our new shelves in so that's going away these shelves are all from amazon we ordered eight of them you'll see why because the other side is also a wall if you ever need to put a wall somewhere i mean there it's not privacy no. like but it's a good spot to have yourself a wall and Separate. a good we call it the island of shelves the smaller room, what used to be the studio, is going to be Amber's office. I'll show you back here. This is our little conference area. It's going to change. I'm hoping to do a better table and things like that. But we do have meetings in here. And so we had to have something. This is our postage machine. This is going out. That's why this area is still a work in progress. This is going into Amber's office. A lot of different things have to happen there. But this is the other side. So what we did was we put the shelves back to back to make this island. So we have this storage and this also display area. And I love this because when we have a conference here, so many people that come in don't know what we do. And this gives us an opportunity to put out different projects we've done over the years and things like that. And then we also have that down on the end and just some pretties. We've got to get Brenda's office. We kind of use it as an overflow and we'll get that all redone. But we have been getting to this point was fun. <laughs> Oh, right. you can show them our storefront we did for the elementary school. Yeah, this is the storefront. Um, you kind of saw it when you panned through. Our art teacher at our local school had local businesses recreate their storefronts, and they had them put them up in their um, in the school hallway. And then we all got to go around and, and like vote. I guess anybody could vote. Yeah. Students, public, anybody could go vote. And look, we did a little banner. We thought this was so funny. <laughs> but they wanted you to tell about what you do, so we did that. And um, this was made, me, Shannon, and Shannon's sister, Kimberly, we all worked on this. It was really Kim that made us do it, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> but it was fun. We but had you fun. did win best overall. We oh, did. Nice. And I'd never won a blue ribbon before, and I'm super excited about this one from the For children's art. art too. <laughs> all right. Let's go around here, and you can see this is the hub. This is where we do everything. This is where we create, film, live show, all of it. So. This is where I sit here whenever we do live show. This is going to get a little weird because now I'm in camera again. This is where I sit. And this is what I see when we do live show. Y'all probably like this. This is what I see. Um, the chat. I typically don't get to watch the chat, though, because it distracts me so much. <laughs> but you can see everything I keep at hand. Here's all my little cubbies that keep all of my supplies. None of that's really changed. We've just kind of added to it. And then over here, you can see I've got my Cheez-Its, which are important. I was going to say, the Cheez-Its are the most important. That's our snack. Sometimes we're just That's like. That's our pre-lunch, pre after-breakfast snack. <laughs> right so before funny. the live show snack. But up here, you can see I keep a lot of things handy. There's my Joy. There's my, um, what are those called? I kept saying them wrong. Eyelets. Eyelets. I kept saying grommets. Um, there's some tapes that I use. There's my Impressible. That measuring tape is not mine. Don't tell anybody I've got it. That Shipping uh, department. The shipping department. There's my. Um, ink bandit there's my blocks i keep my blocks right down there this is my water 
Um, this is my little blue, uh, precision blue gun, I think it's called. <laughs> Press, press, precision blue press. press, glass mat, and my glass mat. Oh, this guy, he's expensive in and of himself, but he's cost us some money. And the thing is, this look, can you see all the lights that reflect in it? We have to work around that every time we film a video. And I'll show you if I put you up where you're going to be filming, where I'll be filming. See how those lights go away? Everything is very strategically placed, and we even had to have lights moved in the studio because of it. Like when we came in here, let me see if I can do this without blinding y'all. When we came in, there was a light here directly over my desk and we had to fix that. Also, do you see this pole? This is my favorite thing. You see that? Not this. This is my, this is my scaffold. This is where my, uh, this holds my phone. A lot of people like to know what I do with my phone when I film. And this is what I do. It's called a scaffold. It is magnetic. It moves up and down. It basically show you. It does. You hook it up in there like that and it holds my phone. Although the other way most of the time. And then it goes over my work surface that way. And this guy is adjustable. I have a, why am I doing this? I have a video about this. I can share, we can share that video. Um, but that, that pole there that it's attached to that has the wing dog on it. We actually had Roy that does our lighting. He came in and installed that. So we could have power and internet connection floating in the floor. And I wanted that because I wanted my area to kind of be hidden because this gets messy, y'all. This is where the work gets done. So if we do have a conference or something, if somebody's coming into our office or whatever, they don't have to see like the mess that this can become back here. So, <laughs> and you can see I keep my inks right behind me. And I actually like this. I was afraid I wouldn't. But this does. I have a chair that spins and I made sure that I made it just where I can just kind of spin in a circle and get to everything. So I keep a lot of inks and a lot of different things back here. And I have one to grow on. We actually did this on purpose. Shannon and I were like, we have all this space. Let's go ahead and plan for the future. Yes. So there's a lot of places that we have to grow into, like that empty bookshelf and things like that. And then, of course, I have my um, displays behind me. <laughs> I've obviously pulled a brush out of there and not put it back. But these are my little displays behind us here. Did you have something to say, Vince? I heard you. Yeah. Eileen asked about the uh, glue press. Um, we brought those in twice and they're on the way in again. Uh, we bought um, four times more the second time than we did the first time. Uh, and they sold out overnight. So we're bringing in them again and they should be here uh, this week for sure. This has got uh, one of our big shots. It's got a lot of my punches. I love to keep my punches at hand. So these are my like border. We should, we really should have dusted. I apologize y'all. It's just like, um, I keep my border punches and like my tag punches and things over here. And then if you noticed over here, I keep my crimpers as well as my shaped. These are my favorite. I lean on these all the time. So I love having these close. That's my mess on. This is Shannon. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. And then we have our, um, stamp press. I don't know if that's called the stamp press. I forget what it's called. The one from we are. Down here, you'll be surprised. These are our embossing folders that we have. These are our dies that we have. And these are our stencils that we have. There's the bigger dies over there. But that's dies, stencils, and embossing folders right there. You can get a lot done with a little bit of supplies. Okay. This is my favorite thing, honestly. This little rolling cart, which for years was kind of an afterthought, kind of just put in the corner. I took it and put the things I use all the time. Scotty, my foam tape is in there. This is where I keep my like um, stamp wheel and my Misty is in that drawer as well. I don't know what all's in there. Yeah, there's, right and there's room to grow in here too. There's bling and twine. But what I love about it is it's on wheels. So when I'm making a project, I roll it and it can sit right here. Wherever we want to put it. It goes right in this section and it just makes my desk an L. Especially on Thursday nights. Yeah. Um, especially on parted videos. If we're mm -hmm. doing like a one, two, three or four part video, I can store things on top in between. And I love that. You guys should consider that not just having a place to store stuff, but having that rolling cart to put out of the way is pretty handy because you get to use your desk. Yes. You had a suggestion from um, clean vacuum. One of those. Pam, I think it was Pam. <laughs> Let me make sure. Yeah. Pam Galloway said, would it be an advantage to you to put like, um, that foam board 
stuff on the back of your The only station. reason it wouldn't is because of the distance. Can you see how far it is from here? You can see how far away it is, and it's not really reachable or accessible. Those lamps are going to go. Those lamps were actually there because we didn't have light, and we were trying to make light, but we haven't moved them because I don't like to mess with cords. <laughs> because all of our, like the heart of everything we do is right here and connected to this machine. So we try to keep that very clear back there. But really, you it looks... From here, it looks pretty close. Like, oh, that would be neat to be able to reach across, but it's really pretty far. So, you know, but, like a cork board or something. It's just you know too far to about. access. But we actually had talked about buffalo checking it just for pretty, but no one sees it. No. And we just aren't. It that doesn't picky. bother us. We're not that picky about it. This section right here is more overflow storage. What we decided to do in this room was not just have a place for our stuff, but make our stuff decoration. Yeah. So, like our distress inks, they're pretty, right? love these little guys they're pretty to look at our markers are pretty right so we tried to put all the pretty things like as decor instead of filling shelves full of pretties does that make sense like i think that would be really cool um then just all different kinds of stuff here some of that is that um what is that right there is that stencils oh that's full and wordies full and wordies and if i you know and our shaker, shaker sheets, sheets. our my, extra cleaner things. My mini trimmer and my mini scoreboard. My and your scoreboard. scoreboard. Shannon keeps a lot of her stuff here. Yeah. Because, and some of her stuff is under here. Like we also yeah. keep some stuff handy under, like her trimmers and stuff are there. And my trimmers and scoreboards are under there as I've always done. Yeah. Um, and Shannon will, okay, so during a live show, this is what Shannon sees. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You can see that during a live show, she puts this little guy up here uh -huh. and that gets her camera my up camera. high enough to see her face. And then I respond to y'all on my iPad. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is just James fan. He just that's, comes that's in. That's our fan because we got really hot earlier. <laughs> it was very hot in here. This is, he's a, this is, I'm a span fan. So this is our James fan fans. Who, oh, our um, commercial. The guy, so, um, Jeff brought those into us. I was trying to think. Whose face is on Shannon's desk? Yeah. <laughs> He's our local weatherman. She got those and walked in the room holding it. Show them what you walked in looking like. If you, it was so creepy. <laughs> I was like that's creepy. But that's pretty much where Shannon. Now this is not the only place she crafts, but I do craft here a lot. Though. She we Crazy enjoy enough. sitting this close to each other. Funny enough, that's where she crafted in the dark. This is where she was crafting in the dark when I showed y'all. The she, trimmer fits perfectly. <laughs> that's yeah. it. And behind here, you'll see she's got tools back there, too. Like I said, this is Which, not normally this, here. This normally goes over here on the bottom shelf when we're not using it. And then I'll move my laptop to here where my drinks are sitting. My iPad isn't here. And then I have this clear space. So that's where she likes to craft when, we, when we're crafting, especially at the same time. When we're making samples. If we're, what we're doing the other day, we're making the Advent stars, things like that. That's where she likes to craft. Um... I'm not sure what kind of light this one is. Oh, oh, hold on. That was close. Who makes I, that? I'm not sure. These are from Amazon. Is it plugged up? It's plugged up. It me. is. It's on. It's plugged to my computer. I don't see a name. The on thing it. about these, it's the light is cool, but that's not the coolest part about it. It actually has a piece, this piece, that connects onto here. And can come out over your work surface. Oh, yeah. The problem is it doesn't come far enough for us. It doesn't come far enough out. I'm not sure how I did that. So we just use it for light at this point. We were using it for overhead, but it's just so, it's hard to use it. And then this goes back there. Yeah. Put it back together. We said things like a puzzle, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Everything has a spot. Yeah. It does. Well, except this. So I'm working on the review of this, doing the um, review and demo. And I have a habit of sitting stuff over my trash can, y'all. That's, that's not, that, that's life. The trash can, well, and I've turned it into another surface, too. It is. I you mean, can show you like, how to put your trimmer on it. If you, you have a trash can, you do, it's yeah. a trimmer holder. Perfect. Or those AC paper pack, the boxes, they fit perfectly over a garbage can to give you another surface. <laughs> There's the AC paper that she was talking about. A lot of the stuff in here, I don't like this is my old cuddle bug stuff. I just keep it so I don't lose it. Um, this is where Ben's live now. Ben's live right. I love having them here. Shannon can get them. I can get them yeah. super, super close. Love that. This is an upcoming project. Look how cute that is. Um, this is an upcoming paper project. This is an upcoming sewing project. <laughs> um, Jenna wants a cat quilt. So we have that. But this is, a, this is an upcoming project. I'm ready to get started on that one. It's going to be fun. 
And what else? Behind We've made it back. Any questions? How about I turn this camera off? Or, well, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make it go black. There we go. Yeah, we um we use a trash can quite frequently. <laughs> you use every surface, right? I'm gonna remove. Tina said she wants a cat. You want a cat? The cat quilt is gonna be fun, I think. We had a cat um, come up outside. It made me happy. Here? Uh, uh, at the house. Oh. A gray kitty. I'm going to. And it let me hold it. This one's making so much noise. I'm going to get rid of it. Thank you. It's old. I don't know how to leave from here. Hmm. That's so interesting. You can't leave it. I can. I just couldn't from here. I had to kick oh. it. Okay, now it's out because it Booted was just a talking. Out. All right. So, any questions? Gosh, that was thirty minutes. That's what we're trying to do. It's it's such a cool space for us, and we've really been enjoying it. And to be honest with you, I think we're more creative in here. I think we don't feel as stifled because in the other room, what was happening is work surfaces were filling up. It it was so when we. It never fails. Every time we move to a new space, we're like, oh, look at all this space. And and then we got hot. Oh, gosh. All that of us in there. So hot. So hot. With all the stuff in it, sometimes there will be three of us. If Brenda's crafting too, sometimes there's three of us in there. Um, she hasn't, she's had kind of the summer off. She's been with her grandkids a lot this summer, but school started back, so she'll be back too. And it's just been like so nice to have all this space. And I think it helps my creativity because I've always wanted to be that person that can have like on the go projects in another place. Like, I, like pull the stuff together and this is a project I want to make. And I love that. And I'm kind of thinking this bookshelf may be where I do that, but I'm not exactly sure yet. I love that. And I love that we have the growing room and Shannon and I was so funny. We were putting all the pretties in the shelf and I'm like, let's be careful not to put so much in those shells because that's not really what they're for. They're really for us to grow into. And I don't want us to get to the point where we're like, we don't have any space and we really do have space, if that makes sense. Because I think in our mind it can happen, right? Yeah. Um, we, I like that we have real desks in here too. We, you know, we, well, y'all may not know, but we tried putting our desk. I had my desk. Well, we both had desks. I have a desk in there too, but I couldn't use it. It was just too crowded. We had really crowded up. We should have done it before of that. They would be shocked how much has gotten it's in insane. there. But we tried Shannon's office in the front. We put her desk up front and we and we got through that. We did that. But the problem was she ended up going and kind of just teetering in the studio, just finding a place to work because everything we did, we really need to work together. Everything we do, be it YouTube or be it stuff for the community, whatever we're doing, we're working together. Events, we just need to be together. So during COVID, we had moved our desk into the back office in Vince's office, which actually that was going to be our office. We had the two in there mm -hmm. facing each other and we had Vince's in there. And when we came to work, they were the boys were shipping and we were in there. Um, and so we moved those desks in there. We really loved having our desk together. Where we were just looking at each other. So we were like, if we come in here, we can do that again. Yes. So that's really nice to have our desk in here and not. We were so crammed. Y'all just don't know. You just don't know. It was so bad. Um, but in here, I feel like we can breathe a little bit. Yes. It's really, really nice. I just noticed that my camera's backwards. Because when I'm looking at you, <laughs> it looks like I'm looking out somewhere else. I'm sorry. Is your carbon colored drawers wobbly? I mean, it's not, the, it's not the sturdiest thing in the world, but it's usable. Yeah, it's not like completely wobbly. You do have to keep tightening up the... No, I, no, I don't have to tighten it up. The problem with that one is it's not made to be... It's not the sturdiest of product period. Yeah. It's just not, we actually bought that product when Lacey was working with us. We bought it for her to have to store vinyl in. So she could just put, she wanted something where she could just put a bunch of like scrappy vinyls and stuff. And since we kind of got out of the, we weren't in the vinyl business at all, but Lacey did all of our vinyl for like name tags for events. She did a bunch of vinyl work, but um, I never thought it was very sturdy. Here's the trick with it. Okay. Don't lock the wheels. If you lock the wheels and you go to move it, you weaken it because it's not those wheels lock. And if I have them locked and go to move it, I can feel myself pulling it off square, if that makes sense. But if the wheels are unlocked, it's fine. It's not going anywhere. 
Um, when we have like open house, um, we are actually going to be using the um, Tilton Art Council. Yes, their building. So we'll have our crafts over there and then you can come to the store to shop and go over there and do all the fun stuff. I'm really excited about that, too, because their facility is stunning. It is so beautiful. And we were able to do one class there. We may be doing some more classes there, too. They asked us if we'd be interested. And especially now since we don't have a classroom, it's just a great resource for us in our area. And rather than just bring everybody right here, what a great way for us to kind of see the city a little bit. Not much because it's very, very close. It's not very far away. But um, what we'll do at Open House when you come to visit is there's an incentive for you. If you go there and make the project, we give you a ticket and you come here and you get a freebie for coming here. And let me tell you, you want to come and make the project. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So We have 669 Exciting. people watching and 300 likes. Which we so have. What does that mean? You need to like the video. You don't need to Vinny the video or Somebody Rodney it. needs to Vinny or <laughs> Rodney the video. <laughs> you guys, Missy did her first live on Friday. Thank you all so much. Do you know in her first live stream, she had over 100 viewers. That's unheard of, you guys. That's because of you. That's because of the marketing that was done. And we, all the YouTubers were marketing her and you guys showed up. Our community showed up. It was so fun to see her do that. I really did mean it felt like I was watching a bird fly the, fly the nest, right? My baby bird. But in that video, it was so funny. In that live stream, somebody said, I just Rodneyed the video. And we all got tickled because Rodney was on the screen with her too, doing all of her stuff. So she, it was awesome. If you have not seen it, you can still watch it. Head over to Rustic Relics on YouTube. I'm sure the link will be here in a minute because we're talking about it. But honestly, she did such a good job. And the project she did, and Missy, so Missy uses that product called Dixie Bell, and she is so knowledgeable on it. And the reason she is is because she uses it every day. She is constantly painting and learning its properties on her. And it's, if you want to know about chalk painting, surfaces, ceiling. That's the biggest question she gets. How do you seal it? How do you seal it? And she is so smart about it. So go check that out. It was really, really great to be able to see that. She gained 100 subscribers too. I did not realize that's incredible. That's incredible, you guys. Um, somebody asked if we had Christmas supplies in already. We do. We have got a lot of Christmas papers in. Yes. Um, we have Christmas dyes. We have we have a lot. We've been we've been bringing Christmas in since July, and that won't stop anytime soon. Any more questions, real quick? I noticed there were some, and I missed them too. So I think we embarrassed Rodney when Chat first started filling it with Rod with they Rodney the video. He thought that was funny. Um, you'll get to know Rodney over time. I hope they'll do it a Friday stream all the time. But you'll get to know Rodney. He has a great sense of humor. He is sort of quiet, but not like, it's so funny. Like he's, the, he's a quiet guy, but he, he's the chattiest quiet guy. I know yeah. like he'll chat with you and chat with you, but he's not going to like jump in conversation. But if you start talking to him and he's so smart and he's, he's, he's just very smart guy. You would, I don't think you'd be surprised. I don't want to say it like that, but I think you'd be surprised how much knowledge, how much his knowledge spans. Even I don't he's realize. Very, very, you know, yeah, man. he's very, very smart. So. Um, they do look good on screen together. Where's Open House? Open House is here in Clanton, Alabama. Our store is on um, Highway 31 in Clanton, Alabama. And our Open House will be November 10th and 11th. And it's two days. You don't have to do both. It's the same thing both days. We do it twice so we can let more people come in. Um, and we do a make and take. And this, this year's project I'm super excited about because it's not three tiny make and takes. You'll leave with one good make and take that can be a gift or something you use for yourself. You'll go to three stations to make it. But when you're done, you'll have one really good make. I love the idea of doing that. I love it. Um, who? Let's see. Any more questions? Thank you guys so much for your orders over the sale weekend. We, I don't know if you guys know, a lot of you guys know, Vince and I both lost an aunt last week. Precious souls. They had beautiful services. It was it's one of those things when you, when you know where they are and you, it was just beautiful. And there was sad and also laughter and there were tears and there was joy, all the things. Um, but because of that, we, we had a Labor Day sale planned and we didn't even discuss it. We didn't even... Like, I think Tamitha put it everywhere. I think she posted it on social media everywhere. I think she did an email about it. Um, and you guys 
you were excited about it. I'll say that because y'all ordered like crazy and we appreciate that. We took the weekend to just be with our family and do, do family things and visit. We just had a great time getting to see family. A terrible reason, a terrible reason, sort of terrible. Cause listen, those two ladies have been looking forward to heaven for a long time. That's right. <laughs> so, um, Maydeen, we are here almost, almost every day, five days a week at least. Um, but if you are coming from out of state, if you would let us know so that we make sure to try to be here. Yeah. If you tell us you're coming, I'll make sure. But there are things, there are times that we, I mean, it's rare, but there are times we take off or we head somewhere. And with hunting season coming up, if you want to see Vinny, you've got to let him know you're coming because yes. he turned in his letter of resignation I'll get to yesterday. I'm turning my resignation pretty soon. <laughs> yes. If you'll just email info at Mamay Made It or if you call the store. Um, and you know what day you're coming, we can check the calendar to make sure somebody's not already penciled to be off that day or whatever. Um, so yeah, and we'll add you to the calendar and then we try to check the calendar daily to make sure we don't miss people. That's right. We, um, we're, we're joking about him turning his letter of resignation. There's a, a video that Amber sent me of this gentleman who wrote a letter to his wife and he was saying, basically, I've been a part of this organization all this time and it's at whatever, September 15th in his area. Yeah. And he was like, so I'll be, I'll be resigning for this period of time. I'll be back in January. He was talking about hunting season and it was really, really cute. So we, I've been teasing Vince all day that he's turned in his notice already. Somebody do that um, with football season. Amy said that means Vinny hunting sales. Oh, that is means, the sale on? You've never sale done it. Oh dear. We're having a sale. You've oh never dear. done that. That's, That's cute. Idea. We might have to do That's that. cute. Jody Season said she over. signed up for Scripture Stamp Club. Can't wait to get um to get some more to add to my collection. I wish I would have gotten the latest release. I'm glad you said that, Jody, because I'll say something to you. You, because you signed up as the club member, because you missed that one, what you can do is you can go back and order it and use your club member discount. You're 15% off. So you won't have to miss out on it. You can go back and order the whatever, any of the stamps, because now you have your 15 percent discount that you can use on pretty much everything in the store. Yeah, I will not be officially resigning. So he's I not will. really resigning. It'll just be more than likely unless you come at lunchtime, you might miss me. Yeah. Hey, do you remember when I saw this other day? You know, Sue and Dean made you that character with the apron. Do you remember yeah. that? And on it, it said, um, I've, I've been deactivated. Do you remember that? Yes. That's so funny. I We got a, um, this is so funny, you guys. We got a water cooler. So you get ice from the fridge and then you go in Vince's office and get water. And I've been standing there doing ice. In the front there's one front. But I've been standing there getting ice and I was reading all the things and I was like, I've been deactivated. If y'all don't know that story, it was so funny. Vinny, we had, when we first started our, our store, we didn't have, but we only had so many staff accounts. And it was like me and Amber and Amanda had a staff account and Vinny had one too, but we needed it. There wasn't enough without upgrading our account. So we deactivated his account so we could use it. And it was so funny. We were doing something or having a meeting one day or something. And Vinny, he was like, I'll sign in. I was like, oh, you can't sign in. He was like, what? I was like, yeah, you can't sign in. I was like, well, I said, well, we deactivated your account. And he went, I've been deactivated. <laughs> That's what I felt. <laughs> if you've been here long enough to remember that, it was so funny that he was deactivated. Somebody asked you a question about Bean. Oh, Bean is good. I got to go see her this weekend, and she is making great progress at the trainer. It has made it very difficult to wait two more weeks, but it's already Tuesday, and Friday will be three weeks. And then the next Friday, we should be able to go get I got to tell you, all we were really nervous about going to see her because the trainer was like, listen, you can't, you can't react. You can't, you know, you can't deactivate everything I've done. That's what he said. Right. I literally had to stand there with my back to her as he brought her out of the kennel <sighs> to start uh, to work what he calls work her and show us what he had done in her training so far. And you can really tell she respects him. And she was like walking beside him really tight and doing what he said, but we kind of, we kind of messed her up, not meaning to, but she walked out and she realized there was somebody there and she turned her head and looked and she turned back and she was trying to do what he said, but then she kept going. There's people there. I think, nor I think normally there's nobody there, but him probably. And she would look back and look back and she's like, I know them. She was like, I know them. And then he worked her for a little bit. And then he said, all right, who's next? And of course, Vinny's like me. And so he goes over there and, and in the transition, Vince couldn't like, Hey, baby, none of that could happen. Yeah. He had to get the lead, you know, take her blah, blah, blah. But she 
knew her daddy, buddy. He got over there and she got so excited. Her butt was wiggling and she was, she had put her whole head up his short leg. Like she was loving on him so hard. And then she did everything with him. She knows, she knows heel and hear and sit and up, which is funny because she knew up before she left because we would say jump in the truck and she would get up, but she can jump in the back of a side by side. He's taught her to do that like a bird dog. Yeah. Um, and what else did she learn? Heel, hear, sit, but not sit. Yes, yeah, sit. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say stay. He says sit. So she has to just sit. And uh, I feel like there was something else she knew. He was working with her on stay, but. Yeah, but he says sit, not stay. But anyway, it was beautiful. And we also got to see Josh's dog, Hazel, who went the day after Bean because he had a spot. So we put them both in. And I'm going to tell you something. Hazel. Bean was already pretty good. Bean's problem was pulling. She would want to pull and get away from you. Hazel's issue was jumping really badly. And this man has done such a good job with Hazel. For the first time ever since they've had her a year, we got yeah, to pet her like, head. She. The difference with Hazel and Bean is Hazel's more mature. And so She's he older. was able to, it seems like, teach her better because Bean still wanted to play a little bit. He said that she... um that she did really well. I loved it because I was like, Matt, I have not been able to walk up to Hazel and pet her face ever. Maybe when she was a tiny puppy, but Maybe. she's a jumper. She was a jumper and it was amazing. Josh and Taylor were able to walk her around that property. She stayed right by their legs. She didn't pull or tug. It was amazing. So it was hard coming home on the way home. We're all talking about how hard the next two weeks were going to be, but we're so proud of their progress. Yeah. And that, uh, I mean, you're exactly right, because when we went, all we wanted to do was love on them. You know, we just wanted to pet them and say, good job, and I'm so proud. I even said, can I tell her good girl? He's like, yeah, that. I say good. And the trainer is like, you can't let her do that. You have to, to win. In other words, you have to remind her you're still the boss. He and said she you has have to, to get do. small wins. He was like, if you, okay, so like this. If Vince is going to hand her to me and he tells her to sit, but he hands her to me and she never sits, that's not a win. He says, if you say sit, you can't hand her till she does. That's a win. And so, but she's really good at sit. She's like, she sits before you tell her to sit. You look mm -hmm. at her. And that's what he said too. He said at a certain point, she'll get to the point where when you stop, she sits. Yeah. When, when you're walking her and then when you stop, she would sit down beside you. It was neat to watch. Yeah, I, I um, showed Chen a little video this morning because Bean's little honey was so cute. Um, Naoka <laughs> says, question, question, but I don't see the question. Are we doing it she again? She asked about some Tim Holtz okay, it's not paste, gonna... I think it, she said. And I'm not familiar with what she's referring to, so I'm going to have to find out, Naoka. What is it? Tell me. Uh, I, I'm trying to find it again. Hang on. It was so hard. And I was like, can I love her face? Can I love her face? He was like, yes. So when she was seated, I could go up and love on her and talk to her. And I would want to go, good girl, good girl. Because that's what I say. Yeah. And he was Tim like, Tim Holtz paste. What kind of paste? Well, she didn't paste? say that. She just said, ask Vince if he checked on Tim Holtz paste. Now, I want to say he has different. Is she talking about like the media paste? The one that's like what? Tell me what paste. Tell me what kind. Sparkle paste. Be more specific. Somebody else said he came no, out with okay. sparkle paste. Who else had who else had sparkle paste? Somebody else had sparkle paste. What's that? Who is it that has so many paste right now? It's a big thing. Is it Simon Hurley? Sounds like a Simon thing. I think but... Simon has a lot of paste. Uh, we oh gosh, a lot of questions. Hold on. That was a lot. Isn't solar paste Simon's or is it not? Am I Tim wrong? Tim Holtz texture paste. Let's see. That's what she said. What did she say? Our friend brought his bird dog and said, find her. And he saw her circle the area where my dog was. And there she was. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. I got distracted. We've not had any luck finding military themed paper. My problem with those kinds of things is most people just do photography like paper and it's not, it's not what we're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm surprised that we don't have better options on that, but we don't. We, we don't usually bring in a lot of paste because you don't, 
use it. Case person, but it seems like we had, there was, oh, Nuvo. We brought in the Nuvo paste. Remember that? And they did not move. Yeah, it just Remember? They did not. And again, I don't use them a lot, so they didn't. But, um, but to answer your question, now, okay, no, I have not. I have not looked for that. So, okay, but so. I can try to find out. So, solar paste is Simon's, right? I think it is. She says, she I, she posted what she's looking for. Te textured paint. Lunar paste. and solar. Simon has lunar. So I knew that. I had to remember that. Uh, I just not much on pace. I know some of y'all are. I know, but y'all know me. I'm barely getting into this. I'm barely getting into this. The mixed media. Yeah, stuff. she says Tim Holtz texture paste. So, I'll try to find out about it now. Okay, I'm sorry. That's funny. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all are talking, and I'm trying to read it. Which video has the grid instruction for quilt cards? Are you talking about this guy right here? This thingy? How to use it? Yeah. Boy, did I learn some stuff. I was watching a quilt video over the weekend. And I was like, oh, we can turn that into a craft video. Like, we can turn it into a grid thing. Does anybody remember which one has the grid in it? The latest. It wasn't the wreath. It was the one I showed the grid. I did do the, I did do the grid. I didn't show this then. When did Tamitha, why am I even trying? Tamitha, that's a Tam question. When did I share this? <laughs> Actually, there's three of them. There's the half inch, the one inch. Is there more than that? And the quarter now, inch. Texture paste sparkle. I mean, we are working on my project for those acrylic shapes. I don't like the way it turned out. So we're going to try something different. It's going a little slow. I have already on my channel a project using those from way back in the day which is pretty easy and it's really pretty when it's done. But what I'm trying to do now, I didn't like the way it turned out. So we're still playing with that one. Um, uh, what happened? For I don't know. I got to go back and okay. see. I missed it. We're trying to keep up, y'all. That came, a lot of comments oh, came she in. lost her dog. Even Shannon's like. Yeah. I feel like all I'm doing is reading. Yeah, they came in quick. That was fast. Fast in a hurry. So sorry, Noah. Mm, that is, there's awful. nothing. I'm, that's not true. Losing your pet is horrible. It is horrible. We know. I'm not saying there's nothing worse. It's horrible. Um, three weeks or so ago. What video was it? It. We did. The, I did the grid in the wreath video, but that's not where we shared the printable grids. Because I want to say I didn't come up with these until afterwards. Came to put the quilt card playlist in. Why can't I remember? Oh, wait. Something about making a tool. I made a tool or something. Who knew that I would be using school supplies? The grid. The grid paper. Oh, my gosh. She's just throwing random words out, y'all. <laughs> I am just throwing random words out. Usually, y'all catch on. <laughs> Usually I throw words out and somebody gets it. While she's looking for that, let me remind y'all something's happening this weekend in case you haven't heard. This is probably going to be backwards. Is it backwards? I don't think. September 9th, that Petals from the Past is oh, the... It's frontwards. Is the Fall Garden, the Great Fall Garden Festival. We will be there. It is a meet and greet. We will be there along with a lot of other YouTubers, y'all. So many other YouTubers, including your favorites like... Brenda, like so charming, like clack, like um cog heel, like just to get farms, like um is Chestnut Hill gonna be there? Chestnut Hill Farms. So many are gonna be there. Tina's gonna be there. Look, Tina said I'll be there. So y'all need to come see her too. I'll um, be there. Missy Missy's gonna be there. Messy Missy. Well, yay. And um Vinny will be there. I'll be there. Shannon will be there. Who else? I think the whole So Charming crew will be there. Y'all come out and say hello. Um, because we would love to meet you guys, and we're doing a make and take, and we're hope we're trying to do this really cool thing. Shannon and I are gonna try to get it done. I think we can. I think we can. So, all right, you guys, You're making the sound like the train. I think we can. I think we can. The big Christmas show in Birmingham is Christmas Village, and I want to say it's the first weekend in November. 
It was on their Facebook page. I can't get to mine. Oh, yes, I can. Look, my phone's right here. I want to say it's the first weekend in November. Um, yes, the those grids are under this video. This one we're in now? No. <laughs> it's like, who did that? That's really good. Colby. Um, see. Christmas, Christmas Village Day. Festival will be November 1st through the 5th. Ticket sales begin October 2nd. Can't you buy at the door? Did you pay at the I door? think so. I think so too. But you can get the special day. The first day is usually more expensive, but it's, it's non-stroller day and stuff like that. It's a day we always like to go. Yeah, we like that day. So you're so sweet. Thank you for being you. Becky, we were just talking about that. I'm working on it. I have, I'm, I'm practicing the project I want to bring to y'all, but I didn't like how it turned out. So we're going to keep going. We're going to step it up. We're going to see what we can do. Um, I just put the link in. Tamitha might have beat me to it already because she's that person. Um, but thanks, Miss Jones. I'm slow. Yep, there you go. She found it. You found it. Y'all both found it. Where's the link for the Advent Star? So there's two videos on that. Well, there's actually three because there's the original video. You want me to start words out? Old video room. Long New, time ago. Star, time star. Fold, score. Fold, scordio. <laughs> They're going to get that for you. Tam is because my, my computer is so slow trying to put stuff in when it's live. Yes, the big craft show they're talking about is in Alabama. It's um, in Birmingham at the, uh, we call it the BJCC, the Birmingham Jefferson Civic Center. <laughs> I had to think of it. Good Any job. advice for cleaning your craft room? Yes. That is a fantastic thing I would like to tell you. Start. Throw it away. Listen to me. Do not hold on to every tiny thing. You need a donate pile. You need a keep pile and a toss pile. I'm giving you permission, okay? I'm learning this in my home as well as my craft room. I have never felt more in control of my house than right now. Now, I'm not done. I still have several big spaces in my house. And I don't mean just throw it away. Put it, give it away. Don't hold on to it. Just because you have it, you don't have to hold on to it. Now, are there things you want to keep? Yes. Evergreen tools. I love to keep tools. Tools aren't going to go out. They're not going to go out of style. They're not something you're not going to use again. But if you've been holding papers for 20 years thinking you're going to use them and you haven't. Listen, my mom used to say this. If you have a piece of clothing that you haven't worn in in an entire year, like in a whole season, you didn't put it on. You're not going to because and you're going to be like, because you don't like it. No. Because you've clearly replaced it. That's the thing. It's like if you have a black blouse, which why did I say that? Because I have several of those. You have a black blouse. I mean, that's several. But you didn't wear it last year. Like if it was a summer blouse and you didn't wear it in the summer, it's not because you didn't want to. It's more than likely because you've replaced it or you've changed your style. So even though it's standing there and you got it, you're not going to wear it. You need to do something else with it. There's plenty of people who could use your clothing, right? It's the same with your paper. If you've been holding on to a project you're, that you want to do, your style changes. Your loves change. If, just don't hold on to it. That's the best thing. Don't be afraid to get rid of things. Do just not donate have, it. That's Take it. it. No more and donate it. There's so many places to donate to. Actually, I, I even saw this because you know we're it. doing craft club here. I looked online at Craft Club to see how many places were already named that, and there's a bazillion. But do you know there's like an actual, I want to say it's um, a 5013C organization called Craft Club that does crafting with teenagers in cities and communities, and they take donations. Like, just Google it. What do I do with all these craft supplies that I have, right? Don't have tub after tub of supply just because you bought it. You just like this, being able to see and feel like I'm not cluttered makes me so much more creative. It's the same in my craft room, this in my sewing room at home this weekend. I was sewing and I had some scraps and I mean, they were scraps like tiny, tiny little scraps. Now, Penny holds on to them. But guess what? Penny uses them. 
I know me. I will never use those tiny scraps. It does not speak to me. It is not how I like to craft. So rather than hold on to them, you either give them to somebody who will or you appropriately get rid of them. And one of the ways to get rid of fabric scraps is use them for stuffing. If you have like, if you make stuffed animals and stuff, use those for stuffing. They don't go to waste, but you're not going, I can't do this until I use all those scraps. That messes us up, right? Same way with your scrap bin. Clean out your scrap bin. We did a video. I don't know. We've done a series of videos where you go to scrap bin first. You know, don't go to your straight paper first. Take a weekend. Here's a great way to clean your crafter. Take a weekend and make scrap cards. Say, I'm going to make. 50 scrap cards this weekend and don't touch your regular paper. Go to your scrap cards, your scrap pile. OK, and you'll see how quickly you can get through that stuff. That's my first tip. Okay. The favorite thing of mine that we did was take our scrap bin and our dies and we got the grass dye, the cloud dye, um, you know, the dyes that we use the most and went through our scrap bin and got any color that would work for grass, any color that would work for a sky, any color that worked for the hill and cut all those out. And then we put them into containers because on the days we need to make a card and we want to use that die cut, you can just grab the piece and cut it down and it's already made. You and I have to do it all. Times we do it. Like, oh, I've used them like crazy. Grass. If you have green paper and a grass die, yes. cut a castle of that. You would be surprised how quickly you go to grass, clouds, stars, hearts. Well, and those grass dies that we've had, they're curved. Cut your paper big enough that you can use the positive and the negative because they come apart and both sides work. So you have two out of one die. I love that. Another thing about cleaning your craft room that I think is important is give yourself some grace. And what I mean by that is don't go, I've got eight hours to do this. Well, it's kind of like losing weight. I didn't gain this weight in eight hours. I'm not going to get it off in eight hours. <gasps> really? Stay in our room. Don't, so many people will go, okay, here's what I mean. Don't tell these crazy rules. I can never, I can never make another project until my room's clean. Don't do that to yourself. That just makes you not want to go in your room. Um, if you need to stop in the middle of cleaning and make a project, allow yourself to do that. It doesn't hurt anything. If you don't want to give it away or throw it away, make it into something and give that and away. Give that away if that's what you want to do. Um, don't say to yourself, I have to clean this room in this day. You're not going to be able to do that. A craft room gets overwhelming so fast. Some days we don't want to clean our craft room. Craft room. We will walk out of here. We will walk out and it is a mess. But I know... There comes a time I have to clean it. Just don't set what we do to ourselves. We set these crazy rules that really distract us or deter us from doing what we want to do. Instead of going, I cannot, I can't start another project until I finish this one. Now I have a habit of doing that and I am doing that with sewing, but that's because I don't have enough space not to do that. But don't do that to yourself. Have yourself bins that are this project and this project. And when you want to work on that one, work on it. And I'll tell you something else I do. And Vince laughs at me. I may go home like today, for example, I might go home and go, I'm going to my sewing room and I'm going to sew all night. Or I might say, I'm going to paper craft all day long. If I get to a point that I'm stuck or bored, instead of pushing through, I walk away because I have learned if I'm not having a good time, if I'm not enjoying it and it becomes a chore, I will more than likely not go back to it. So in your cleaning, pick a shelf, pick a corner, pick a drawer. Something else I learned in my house. This is so good, y'all. You need to hear this. And this is what I did. There was all these spaces I want to clean out. So I just made a list. My closet, this chest of drawers, this chest of drawers, this nightstand, this thing. And I mean, that's how I did it. I made a list of all the things I wanted to clean out. And if I got one cleaned out on a Friday afternoon and it took me 30 minutes, at first, I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm never going to get this done. Guess what? You're not moving. You're not going nowhere. If you did every other day another tiny clean out, before you know it, you've got a lot done. And Vince and I were talking because it can get overwhelming in your home. And I said, babe, do you realize how much we've gotten organized? Do you realize how much just doing a little at a time? I've got a cabinet in my kitchen that's got to be done. And I've been putting it off because I don't want to do it. It's been one of the last ones I got to do. Part of my pantry, we did the food section. I got to do the other section. You know what I'm saying? But the feeling of control over it is so much better than the feeling of dread. So just go to bed tonight and go, you know what? I cleaned out a whole drawer. That's a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Every anyway. little bit. 
anyway, I would love to talk to you. I would love to do a whole video on that because I feel like I've learned a lot over the years. I was a person who it got away from me and I would avoid it. I would be like, it's, I just don't know where to start. I remember when I was a teenager, my bedroom had gotten so bad. My mother was a, was a clean, everything had to be clean. Everything had to be in its place. Everything had to be just right. But my room was a war zone. It was horrible, y'all. My room was awful. And I remember mom had just gone crazy over it. And dad came in my room and he was like, you got to get this cleaned up. I said, dad, I don't even know where to start. I was literally sitting on my bed crying because I didn't know where to start. And dad went just like this, go in that corner and clean that corner and I'll be back. He did like that. And I went, okay. And I went in that corner and I cleaned that corner and ignored everything else. And he came back in the room and he went now clean that. Like he did like that because my brain wouldn't do it. It was overwhelming for me. And I've learned over the years, if I'll just break it down and do one thing at a time and not be ashamed to walk away from a half clean room. I have like ADHD when I start cleaning. Well, see, my problem was my mother taught me you start early, you work late and you don't quit till you're done. But that's, that's what not we healthy do. But for see, me. like I, I start doing something and then I find something that needs to go into this room and then I take that to put it away. And when I get in that room, I see something I need to do. So I start doing that. And then I walk back to the bedroom and I'm like, I was in here folding clothes. <laughs> Two other tips. Like, the one time somebody's talking about it now. Set yourself a time limit. I've got 20 minutes. I'm going to clean for 20 minutes. You will be surprised what you get done in 20 minutes. I have been shocked. I can't tell y'all how many times she's come home and said, would you help me for 20 minutes? Will you give me 20 minutes? I usually say to him, will you give me one hour? Can you give me one hour to help me clean something or whatever? And 25 minutes in, we're done. But I always say, can you give me an hour? So set yourself some time limits. The other thing was, um, it was time and there was something, oh, if you're cleaning your house, this is a tip I picked up from somebody and it's real good. Don't make 15 trips into your house. Don't trip, trip, trip all over around your house. Get yourself a basket. Okay. And when it's time to clean up, put everything that doesn't belong in there in that basket. And then when it's time to go put that stuff up, take that stuff to the, take it to the next room and get everything out of it and put it away in that room. Does this make sense? Like, if you have shoes in the living room, if you have what stuff we always have shoes, I have jewelry, I have hair clips. When I come home, if I'm wearing a hair clip, it goes on my end table. Like I have to pick all that stuff up rather than going and put my hair clips up, going and putting a pair of shoes up, going and putting this up. I put it all together and I take that trip. And well, it stays it's so there until quick. Bain or, or somebody gets it or right Presley now. gets it. I try to, uh, it stays there until I run out of hair clips. <laughs> But honestly, take everything at one time that you can and walk. My mama taught me that. She's like, don't, don't leave the room 15 times. But I need to get my steps in. It's okay if you're doing it for that. That's different. <laughs> That's different. Well, Amy, you just stay right there. Work in this corner and the next corner and the next. But it's kind of the same thing. I mean, instead of being in this section and walking from here with one thing and from here with one thing, if it doesn't belong there, gather it up into something. And then walk around and put it where it belongs. You'll be surprised how quickly you get things done. And you're like, I didn't go. You don't feel like you clean for 47 hours because you're not back and forth, back and forth. My problem is I push it to the side. Is that the way to describe what I do? No, you're a pack rat. When I clean, I just stack it over here on the side. It's still all the same mess. Well, cleaning for you is. It's just more organized mess. Cleaning for you is taking the clutter and stacking it, you know, bringing the clutter to one spot. Cleaning for me is putting the clutter where it get, where it should go. And for like for Vince, like our end tables, that's what we have. We have our end tables, right? He has his and I have mine. For me, it's getting the stuff off of it and putting where it goes. For Vince, it's organizing it on the surface, right? Well, that's because everything that's on there, I use. And you see that as clean. Yeah. Blake is a throwaway. I do not. If it's sat there for longer than, I don't know, it's garbage. Billy, that's a good one. We live in a two-story house. Never walk up or downstairs empty-handed. And I can't. You just can't. There's too much that goes from one floor to the next. You cannot go. Even I'll go, Joe, are you going downstairs or something? Yeah, I'm like, take this down. Just sit it down there. Just take it down for me. And I'll put it up when I go down. You have to do that, too. Anyway, we're here to craft, right? Oh, now, Shannon, what is the truth? What do you mean? What I don't know. Maybe you said something. 
Do y'all know if any of the paper companies are going to do a Highland Cow paper collection? Oh, what is that? What's a Highland Cow? I don't know. Should we know? <laughs> That's why, Belinda, because I do the same thing. I'll take one thing into the bedroom to put that away. Then I see something in there that needs to be done and do that. Then I go wherever. The, and that's why it messes you up. Gather it all up and take it all in there. Right. And then put it away and then gather from that room to the next room. I found that really, really, really helps. That's been a big one for me. A Scottish cow. It's a Scottish cow. Hold on a second. So a Highland cow is a Scottish cow. They're what? Adorable fuzzy cows. I got to look it up. I love cows. <gasps> Tina, we moved into our house. They're um, adorable and fuzzy. We moved into our house um, 2020 and we still have boxes. So I'm not judging one bit. Somebody did paper that had this cow on it. They're adorables. Somebody did one with a furry cow. Yeah, I don't remember though. Would it would it have, would it have been Echo Park or Simple? No. What was that one that had the um? Somebody had one. They're like long-haired cows. Mini Highlands. Mini Highlands. Could I have one of them at home? You cannot. Shannon, look at your phone messages. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Someone's uh, trying to trick us into knowing about that. Wait a minute. Tamps have photo play. Willow Who Creek Highlands. about that? Did they say, did, do y'all know of any of the paper companies doing a Highland Calvert? Oh, you're trying to find the one you've probably seen. This probably means we have this on order. This is photo play. Or is this old? Is it new or old? Let me look at the date. I didn't see a date on it. Willow Creek. It probably means we have it on order because you order all of the photo play, the new stuff. Typically, he orders all of that. All right, guys, we have to go. I have um, we have somewhere we have to be tonight. <laughs> That's funny, Deanna. Um, Thanks, Tam. Oh, there's oh Amber seen it. Okay, it's newer. That probably Hi, means Amber. we do have it on order. We'll we see. miss you. Do we miss her? Yeah. Can we tell you something? Come to work. Today is Amber's sixth year anniversary working with us. And guess what? We don't have to celebrate it because she didn't, didn't come to, to work. Celebrate because you were here. So we ate where we wanted to eat because she wasn't here. But tomorrow we'll have to celebrate her. No, we, we look forward to it. Um, we actually don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Um, don't lie. <laughs> we're prepped and ready for you, girl. She wants um, to be at work. We know you do. <laughs> but today's her six-year anniversary working with us. Can you believe that? Whoop, whoop. It's so cool. It always makes me go back to when I said, oh, Amber, listen, that day I asked you, when's the last time you checked an email? You said like six years ago, right? So you can't say that now. <laughs> six years, Karen. She has worked here six She's years. She's old. And you know what? If there's somebody who knows something about this place, it's her. She's mm -hmm. the one. She's been here and been here and been here. Um. Thank y'all. Please congratulate her. She, I, I mean, congratulate her for putting up with us for so long. Send right? her emails. <laughs> She's on so For putting up with us this long. That's sweet. Yeah, she, six years is amazing to me. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't never. See how she puts up with us. We never, I don't know how she does either. And I never thought that far in advance when she came to work for us. She's just. She's family. That's all there is to it. And it's just amazing. But you know what? We have a lot of people right now that have been here a long time. You're coming up on five, right? You're working on your fifth year right now. You're in your fourth March, year. Yeah. March will be five. Um, Sylvia's in her fourth, fourth year. Working on, yeah. Tamitha's in her 29th year. year. Tamitha was here before we were here. <laughs> <laughs> She's an anomaly. What came first, the Meme or the Tamitha? <laughs> Um, oh, you're ornery. Are you ornery? ornery. I'm, who's ornery? I'm ornery. I, Shannon, that's ornery. I've been called worse. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to go. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed this tour. We enjoyed chatting with you guys. Um, thank you so much for your prayers for us over the week. You guys, we had message after message. It was so kind, so sweet that you think about us. <laughs> Look what Michelle said. <laughs> Uh, Maybe so learn true. how to deal with it. He's pretty good at it. So true. you're pretty good at all the, you know when to walk away. He just yeah. goes to his office. I see it. He knows when to walk away. Look, yep. he had a house full of boys. Now he has work full of girls. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Do you see that? We were okay. Last story, and then we're out of here. We're at Bass Pro Shop yesterday. Vince walks up and he goes, "Here's what I want." I said, "What?" He said, "This boat right here. Look, what I want." Nope, I don't like it. Here's what I want. Nope, don't like it. In the back, there was a row full of pontoons. I said, let's go right back over there. He's like, no. He said, maybe we need to get something, the best of both worlds, like a hybrid. And he's like, let's look at a deck boat. I said, we're not looking at boats. We were going to the restroom. We're Fish not looking ski. at boats. Fish and ski. So then when we go to leave, he says, there's a boat outside. He said, babe, this is the one for us. Look how many seats. Y'all, this boat was about six feet wide. It was not very wide. How wide was it for real? Not long. I, I don't know how wide it was. Eight but feet. I mean. Boats are not real wide. Exactly. Eight foot wide boat. And it had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you said the surface, the hard surface could be more seats. So he was saying, we can get eight people in this boat. I'm like, how many of us on that boat? That's not going to be a boat anymore. <laughs> He's, oh my goodness. He's all about because it. Because I know. 90% of the time there's going to be one or two people on it. Then get yourself an aluminum boat. That's what I I, wanted. That's what I showed you. That wasn't an aluminum boat. Yes, it was. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. Maybe I should explain what I mean by an aluminum boat. Are you talking about like with oars and everything yes. for him? Yes. That's me. You mean a little John boat? Yes. No. Baby, they catch crocodile in John boats. Uh, yeah, they do. You ain't catching something yeah. big as a crocodile. See, that's ain't. because a crocodile no crawls over boat in either. the boat with them. You think they just jump in? They just yes. go, oh, thanks for coming by. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm I'm Seriously, with you. you need, she's got to get back to cleaning. You need bigger. <laughs> you need bigger than John boat. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. For what? You know that um, you don't want to have two people in a tiny little boat fishing off both sides and it starts rocking. So they can Believe have me. a John boat apiece. And what's the point? Clamp them together. Mm -hmm. You know, Penny's husband fishes trophy fishing in a kayak. Well, that's Jimmy. He's different. Trophy fishing. He's different. Look, okay, mom and dad. <laughs> Let's don't buzz in front of the company. <laughs> That's funny. That's because of what you said in the truck the other day uh -huh. when we were back yeah. and forth. And she said, don't worry, mom and dad get upset, but they'll be okay in a minute. <laughs> All right. No, we haven't moved. Just offices. Okay, you're saying we just moved the filming studio <laughs> from one corner of the building to Can another. Can you see it? Amber, like, glad you came by. I thought her all by myself. Didn't know what I was going to do. Chomp. <laughs> All right, Vinny's going to close us with prayer. We'll keep talking if we don't. He's going to close us with prayer. Thank y'all so much for being here today. We appreciate you very, very much. We'll see you again on Thursday night's live. So um, until then, we'll let Vinny close us out. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thanks for the day. I just praise you and thank you for all of our friends and family that watch and support us every week. Uh, God, I pray your blessings upon them. I pray you will um, take care of them physically and mentally, that you'll bless them financially, God, that you'll just meet every possible need that they have because you're just that good a God. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you for what you do. Lord, for those that are express loss today, whether it was a pet or a family member or a friend or whatever, God, I know, God, those are the hardest times. Uh, having personally gone through those things, Lord, I, I know how difficult they can be. I pray, God, that your comfort and the peace that only you can give uh, would satisfy and, and, and meet the needs that they have. Lord, as we go our separate ways today, God, I pray you just uh, be with us, love on us, and help us to show your love to everyone we meet. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for being here. And until next time, bye, bye now. now.